Well, today's the Tony nominees meet the press day. Um, like it's just a junket crazy at the Paramount Hotel. You know, you're like walking the hallways of this really small Times Square hotel and um, it's just, and, and you know, we literally sit in a hotel room. This is where um, all, every Tony nominee's butt will be. <laughs> One Tony nominee butt comes and then Beth asks the person's face a few questions the and face. then when they're done, the butt, the butt leaves. leaves. This is a Manhattan hotel room, everybody. This is about as much as you get in a Manhattan hotel room, right? So they just take the bed out and the little side table. They put some curtains up, they leave the TV. And then we still so have a bathroom, which is awkward too. Go show them the bathroom. Look there. Look in the bathtub. It's weird. Isn't that weird? We get there at 7.30 in the morning to set up. So you're gonna do those five for everyone, and then you're going to mix in random ones if we have time. There's a whole flow to it. So then like in the Paramount Hotel, there's like a basement where there's huge step and repeat for photos, and all the actors go there to take their pictures first. sort of slowly make their way up to each section of the hotel. So wrangling on Tony Junket Day basically entails uh, running around, finding the talent and bringing them to where Beth is doing the interviews. The problem of course with wrangling is, is that I may have you know, found an amazing talent that we needed to interview, brought them to the room, and there's someone else being interviewed at the time. So there are some times where I get like something in my ear that says, there are three really important nominees waiting in the hall. And then I have someone who answers a question, like a monologue, and I'm like, please, hurry up. And then you're trying to hang on to the talent in the corridor when other people in other rooms are trying to get that particular person into their rooms. It's tense. It's a tense thing. Straight in the camera. Yeah. Okay. And I'm going to ask you ridiculous questions. I've never seen those I'm just going to ask you like personal secrets. Okay. okay. Excellent. Normal. So a few years ago, Paul and I came up with doing something that we call Tony Secrets or Secrets of the Tony Nominees or Tony Confessions. We haven't, you know, we call it that sort of thing. And I just ask them like personal questions. We try to sort of keep ourselves amused and we try to have fun with the nominees. I won anything? A turkey at Christmas time in a pub in Dublin. We won, a, we won a turkey. Maybe a Tony? A math trophy in 11th grade. Beyonce tickets. It's just a way to not make it boring. We try to do something different. Younger stars sort of understand that tone. I'm a Tony nominee. A Tony nominee. I'm a Tony nominee. My name is Danny B. Uh... Yo, it's Jonathan Groff, don't turn this camera off. I can't believe that I'm a Tony nominee. I'm going on a shopping spree to celebrate the day I was nominated for a Tony. It's no baloney, I'm so excited. Can't believe that you're wearing a watch and it's time to go. It's the end of the interview. <laughs> I think because we've been around for a while and we've been doing this for a while, they know what to expect, I think. But not everyone really does. Yo, what, what a Question. <laughs> Tony Junket Day is a great moment to get hold of all the nominees. Basically, all the nominees are there. It's also a great opportunity while they're there for us to do something fun with them all, to do something different, because that's what Broadway.com is about. Yes, we're the number one source for theatre information in America, and we do do straight news, but we're also known for a fun take on the news. So it is a very important day for Broadway.com to get right. Uh, and we nailed it this year. I'm going to wrap. Being a Tony nominee is, it's great. I'm not Lin-Manuel Miranda. It's great. It's wonderful. Mm -hmm.